Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you the best way to get more FPS in Minecraft. This video is going to be split up into two parts, installation and FPS test. I'm going to be using a mod pack called Simply Optimized. This mod pack is made to give the user a very high boost in FPS with very little visual impact. Or in other words, more FPS. Now the effects of this mod pack will vary from person to person, but for me it roughly doubled my FPS. Alright, let's get into the installation. Alright, so if you want to install Simply Optimized, I highly recommend using a launcher like GD Launcher, Multi MC, T Launcher, but the one I'm going to be using in this video is called AT Launcher. And it should come up right here, atlauncher.com. Go ahead and click there, and it should have all this. You're going to want to hit download on the top here. For Windows, you're going to want to hit setup, recommend it, and just click that. It should just automatically download it, and then you can hit save. All right, from there, you're going to want to go to the file right here, double click it. It should just open up and I'll have the AT Launcher Setup Wizard. And then it's like completing the AT Launcher Setup Wizard. And you have to check. I'm not going to check it just because I already have it installed. You can click finish. Alright, once you have that installed, you can go ahead and go down here and search up AT Launcher. And it'll boot up this little screen right here. And it's going to prompt you to log in to your Microsoft account, which you're going to have to do. And once you're done with that, you can go ahead and go over to settings and we're just going to modify some stuff just to make it run a little bit better. You're, you're going to unclick keep launcher open, enable console, enable trade menu, and enable discord integration. Once you're done with that, you're going to want to head over to the pack section right here and just search up simply optimize. You probably just search up simply. Make sure you go to modrinth and it should pop up here simply optimized. You're going to click new instance. So I'd recommend you do 1.19.4. Then you can go ahead and click install. Once this pops up, it's going to tell you that it's installed and you can go ahead and click OK. After that, you can head over to your instances and it should pop up right here as whatever you named it. Just say simply optimize 1.19.4. But before we click play, we're going to add some more mods to it just to make it a little bit better of an experience. The first thing you're going to want to do is this is completely optional, but I like to add iris just so I can use shaders, which I usually use. So you're going to want to search up iris on modrinth. If you want to search up iris, click add and hit add mod. And it should say right here, iris shaders installed. Now I also like to install some other mods called, there's one called better F3. You hit add for that and add, you're going to want to add cloth config because it's required. And then hit add. It should download pretty fast and it should say both these are installed. Now if you want to, you can add continuity, which is basically connected textures for fabric. But I've been having some a bit of lag with this mod, so you don't have to add it. And once you're done with that, you're going to want to head back down to simply optimize the installation you made. Just go ahead and click play and then play online. And you should be in. So you're going to want to go to options, video settings. You're going to have to change all of your settings and stuff. All your keybinds, stuff like that, mouse settings. Most important thing, however, is video settings. So I usually set, set max shadow distance at zero, simulation distance at five, and render distance at 20. And if you want to, you can add a shader in here and hit apply and you should be good. Okay, and now for the FPS testing. I'm gonna be comparing normal Minecraft to Optifine and Simply Optimize on fast and with shaders all on 20 chunks render distance. And for vanilla Minecraft, I usually got high 100s to high 200s on fast settings. On Optifine, my FPS was really inconsistent, ranging from 200s to 500s, but with some bad stuttering. But on Simply Optimized, I consistently got 400s to 500s, and sometimes into the 600s with rare dips into the high 300s, and there was absolutely no stuttering. And now for the shader test. With shaders on Optifine, I rarely even got into the 100s in terms of FPS. And along with the low FPS, there was lots of stuttering. But on Simply Optimize, I was consistently pulling 200 or more FPS, rarely dipping into the 100s. And that's the video. Subscribe if this video helps you guys out, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.